Hello there, Liza P fans. Welcome back to my channel. I'm at it again, making a video. Usually around this time, I do some tips and tricks on how to level up your character or what is a good weapon. But I think what it's important is the locations of where you're able to farm Ergo. We're all going to have a preference, but I have five locations that I think are ideal. But there are also other minor locations that, you know, you can utilize those areas to be able to get enough. But I didn't think it gave me a significant amount of ergo to upgrade my character fast enough because I'm a very impatient person. I'm not going to spend an hour in a location to farm for stuff. At least... 30 minutes I'll do it so I can gain enough ergo to upgrade my character to progress certain levels believe me at a certain point it helps to have these locations to farm quickly because a lot of them are closer to a stargazer and I'll mention to you which one is my favorite location in the game that I was able to just farm for so much ergo that I didn't even bother with other locations anymore, especially when it came to the Arch Abbey, the tower. I don't think anything in that location is safe to farm for ergo, especially if you're a non-skilled gamer. So hopefully my list is able to help you out, especially the non-skilled gamers out there that are having trouble with this game. Once you reach a certain point, believe me, you're going to be thankful to have those locations available to you because you're gonna be able to upgrade your character a lot more and you're going to enjoy the game. Now the first location, believe it or not, it is... Crot City Hall right at the beginning of the game. It is an ideal location to upgrade your character especially if you're not good at perfect guard yet and you need to gain enough resistance to deal handle the enemies in this game especially the scrap watchman which dishes out a lot of electrical damage. So every time you upgrade your character early in this game it brings up your resistance against shock damage as well as you know fire resistance electrical resistance acid re resistance and of course if you put stuff into advance like i said you're going to end up having shock resistance break resistance as well as disruption resistance which midway towards the end of the game it will be ideal to have all of that not to mention you'll learn perfect guard by doing this round over and over again until you face the boss. Second location in this game is the Mullum District. Um, it's about almost halfway towards the game and this location, the enemies are so close to the Stargazer, it is impossible to pass up on trying to farm in this location, especially with this pointy monster. He gives you quite a bit of ergo on your first run, especially if you have the Hunter's Amulet equipped it. You're going to get a lot. And of course, if you made sure that you upgraded your P organ to receiving more ergo upon kills that would be amazing you're gonna get a lot from these enemies and not to mention because you're so close to the stargazer you don't have to use the watch to transport yourself back to the stargazer you can just go right out the end door and tap the stargazer and then go back to killing all over again and gaining that much ergo over and over and over and just stacking it the third location in this game is not an ideal place, but I have to mention it. Rosa Isabel Street Culvert. This one is a little bit of a stretch to try to farm for Ergo, but I have to mention it because anything beyond this point, because you're going to be dealing with the Mad Clown boss and you're going to be going into the Opera House, that's a very difficult location. This might be an ideal spot to just freshen up the landscape a little bit if you get tired of the Mullum District. 
because doing that over and over again i'm a person that doesn't like that much repetition i need to like have a refreshing area so this one was pretty cool and i got used to moving quickly and strategically with my weapon and learning to guard especially against you know long range attacks from these enemies and I ended up gaining a lot more items available like that I needed like fable or legion consumables so and plus each of these like brigade guards they give you at least 250 in ergo which is not bad at all the only issue is you're going to be using the watch to trans transport yourself back to the stargazer so this is not my most ideal spot but it's just a refreshing area to be able to farm for Ergo. My next location in this game, number four, Lorenzini Arcade. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit in this game, this is the area to do it. It has big rewards. The reason why it's like, even though it's going to take a little bit longer for you to kind of like circle about, but those two big juggernauts of an enemy over there, and especially these little jelly bob decay monsters, they give you so much ergo. And if you're able to like kill these bosses efficiently, this big juggernaut of a shit that just like gives me headaches. I wish I would have used the trident more often on this dude, but I use the salamander dagger just to get used to it. This dude, upon death, gives you about a thousand ergo. So if you want to challenge yourself, this is the best opportunity to gain big rewards. And you're, you're going to farm a lot of ergo in this section. Not to mention you're going to get good at fighting. So this is the only reason I'm mentioning this area, but this is not the best location. Number five, Grand Exhibition Gallery. This is my best location ever. This is my favorite spot to farm for Ergo. It is so simple. You have only three enemies. And if you wanted to challenge yourself, you can go off to the left if you want to uh, spare the extra time and just go up and kill the other two brigade soldiers and then deal with the saw monster as well. I, I, don't, I don't even know what this thing is called, but it dishes out 913 ergo per kill on that thing. I gained the most ergo from this area. Well, there you go, people. That is my five ideal locations to be able to farm for Ergo so you can upgrade your character and get it at its resistance and its capability to be able to finish this game. Without doing it, the game is a lot more challenging. And for me as a non-skilled gamer, that is a no-no because I want to be able to progress through the game in a timely manner. And of course, if you don't want to go into New Game Plus right away, you're going to have access to the better locations like the Grand Exhibition Gallery and the Mullum District and the Lorenzini Arcade. If you want to challenge yourself with that, like I said before, the rewards are amazing in that location. Well... Thank you for watching and I hope everyone enjoys the rest of the game and you have a good morning, a good afternoon, and a good evening.